Wentz hit as he throws it. Erzendowski makes the catch! First and goal! North. And Wentz is gonna keep it. Wentz in the end zone! The Bison retakes the lead! The last two minutes of this game has been championship caliber football at its finest. The most outstanding player for the 2015 Division I football championship, quarterback Carson Wentz. 6'6", 235. He's a North Dakota kid. He was the MVP of the championship game a season ago. And as we told you, this is a guy who might be one of the top three QBs taken when the draft rolls. With the second pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Carson Wentz, quarterback, North Dakota State. It goes without saying that this is the highest a North Dakota State Bison has ever been drafted in the National Football League. First quarterback ever, second overall. Uh, how's it feel to be an Eagle? Feels terrific. Yeah? You guys, you guys told me when I was there, I'm ready to go. I know, I know, we tried to sell it hard. At the Redskins defender. Taunting was called. Wentz shot. End zone. Touchdown to Aguilar. Just like that. We're down at 14. Wentz fires downfield. And I do. Uh, torn ACL. Torn ACL, uh, it appears, yes. Carson is your quarterback, MVP candidate. Can your team overcome? You sure can. Heck yeah. Um, we overcame a Pro Bowl left tackle. Um, we overcame our middle linebacker, we've overcome a running back, we've overcome a, a, a core special teams player this year, our kicker this year. Uh, this is no no different. Um, you know, yeah, he is the quarterback of our, of our football team. Um, and uh, each one of these guys that I mentioned is tough to replace, tough to replace. But you know what? The reason we went out and got Nick Foles is for reasons like this and for situations like this. And. Uh, um, I'm excited for Nick, obviously. I hate it for Carson Wentz. I hate it for uh, um, the career the uh, or the season, I guess, that he's he's been having. Um, but at the same time, it's it's been the next man up mentality, and, and that's, that's how we approach it. Underdogs no more. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champions. Congratulations. Y'all truly are the best football fans in the world, and you make it a joy and a pleasure to play for you. Yeah.
From the moment I got here, I knew this was a special place. A special locker room, a special organization, special coaching, and some seriously special fans. And I knew it wouldn't take long until we were standing up here, and here we are today as world champions. The last thing I gotta say is I hope y'all can get used to this. struggling this season and leading the league in turnovers. Brett Favre said he was surprised that the Eagles stuck with their quarterback despite Nick Foles being the one who led them to a Super Bowl title. Shannon Sharp, here on Thanksgiving Day, you need to give up the ghost of the man you call walk it to him wins that I have renamed. He ain't going nowhere. Give it to him wins. It's over. He has come all apart. Even if you look at the scope of his, how many years has he played now? We're up to five. Five, it's his fifth year. Since entering the league, he has the third most turnovers in the whole league to Jameis and third cousins up in Minnesota, okay, over the last five years. But so far, he leads the league in interceptions. He leads the league in sacks, so he's holding on the ball too long, even though his protection has right. obviously broken down occasionally. Right. And his total turnovers, including the four fumbles lost, equal 18, which is five clear of the next individual on the list and is more than 29 other teams have as a team. Th that's abominable. That's all-time bad. Some of the throws and some of the interceptions that he's doing, I'm like, what the hell are you doing, Carson? You can't do that when your team is struggling. The quarterback needs to be the reason why you win. He can't be the reason why you lose because he touched the ball too much, Skip. You can't do that.